Welcome back, my name is Kerry, and today I'm gonna to show you the newest prototype for an affordable prefab home. Affordability in housing is a problem worth solving, and there are people approaching it from a bunch of different angles. As usual, just when I thought I'd seen it all, I come across something so new, they're literally building the very first models as we speak with a mission to scale up production of their affordable casitas to help offset the housing crisis. Whether you're shopping for a new home, enjoy the eye candy of the new options, or simply scanning the comments for hair jokes, today you're in for a treat. Someone actually said I look like a pencil, with my hair being the eraser not too long ago. That one made me laugh, because it's true. It's not a secret that housing has become expensive. It's also not a secret that off-site construction has been in the spotlight as one possible solution. So I guess I shouldn't be surprised to see new options coming online. What we've got so far is the result of six weeks of production inside a port building on the West Coast, and this could just be the beginning if the pilot project proves successful. The homes I'm talking about are called Mass Casitas, modular housing prototypes built specifically to combat housing affordability. What I'm gonna do is tell you who's building the casitas, show you the prototypes, and let you know where they'll be available. Mass Casitas is an innovative affordable housing development laying the groundwork for a new modular home factory located in the port of Portland. Say that 10 times fast, port of Portland. Yes, that's right. It will be located in the port in the land of ports. What we've got here is a line of homes designed by Salazar Architect in partnership with Hacienda CDC and Walsh Construction with a goal to pilot the manufacturing of mass timber modular housing solutions. A lot going on already, I know. Let's back up the truck a little bit and I'll tell you a bit about who's all involved. Salazar Architect is a Portland-based architecture firm who says they create high-impact public interest architecture, interiors, and urban designs that are rich in character and affordable to build. Hacienda CDC is a community development corporation that strengthens families by providing affordable housing home ownership support, economic advancement, and educational opportunities. For over 30 years, these folks have provided affordable housing in their community for those who need it most. Finally, the third piece of the puzzle is Walsh Construction, who have been building since 1961. Whew. Their website says they place a high priority on creating healthy, durable, and highly energy efficient buildings and were selected as the general contractor for Mass Casitas. They go on to say that prefabricated modular construction has the potential to provide housing solutions while saving both time and materials and that they are excited to be involved on the forefront of these technologies. Each member of this collab, let's call it, brings something different to the table, so I'm excited to see what they bring to the market. In case you missed it, Hacienda Community Development Corporation is a non-profit organization, and this entire project was made possible by $5 million in startup money from the Oregon legislature. CEO of the Hacienda CDC was quoted on KGW8 saying that costs will be reasonable, mass production will reduce the cost even further, and it offers a quick and sweet solution to a crisis that we have which is the housing crisis. Their affordable housing strategy was designed in a way that it would benefit Oregon's economy. They're keeping things in-house, so to speak, from sustainable timber harvest to assembly of the modulars all the way down to the installation. Salazar Architect says it will have deep local positive impact with the first six modulars going to different areas around Oregon. What's interesting about this project is the first six homes they build, the prototypes they're constructing right now, will be donated to six families through partnerships with trusted organizations throughout the state of Oregon. For example, it's noted that one of the homes is going to a family that lost their previous home in the 2020 Echo Mountain Fire. When the prototype homes are finished and delivered, which is projected for June of this year, Hacienda CDC and the rest of the gang will monitor how they perform in different climates and make any necessary changes based on findings and feedback, then they'll decide how to move forward. One of the articles I saw written about Mass Casita says with the space they've got at the port in Portland right now, they have the capability to ramp up to two to five homes per day which would be amazing. Right now, I think the more options for potential home buyers, the better. So fingers crossed these turn out as good or better than they're expecting, and it'll be another potential option for buyers going forward. Even though the first six homes are being donated and are spoken for, it sounds like they'll be available to everyone going forward. The CEO of Hacienda CDC said, these houses, as well as everything we do, is for everyone. With this particular solution we're bringing to the table, modular housing, our hope is we can expedite and house people a lot faster than with traditional systems, and that is for everyone. 
One of the goals of the Mass Casitas project is a lower cost and faster implementation of homes than traditional construction. The name Mass Casitas comes from their use of volumetric mass timber in their designs. Mass timber uses state-of-the-art technology to glue, nail, or dowel wood products together in layers. The results are large structural panels, posts, and beams known as mass timber. I always find it interesting to find out what different modular builders are using for their materials and the reasons given for their choice. This is no exception. Under reasons given, they noted that mass timber is an abundant, sustainable, and economical viable building material that can help to address the housing crisis. The use of mass timber allows for the construction of affordable, durable, and environmentally friendly buildings while also supporting local economies and reducing the carbon footprint of the building industry. Basically, the top benefits include sustainability, strength, speed, and efficiency, all while being environmentally friendly. Let's see what they've created. They're still finishing off the six prototypes, so it wasn't easy to find out exactly what they plan to build. However, I was able to find a few of their floor plans on the Salazar Architect website, and from what they're showing there, it looks like they'll have at least three different plans available in three different sizes. The smallest of the three looks to be a variation of what they're currently building for their six prototypes. It's a one bedroom, single section floor plan that has a simple yet functional layout. The way they set this thing up is with the bedroom in the back with room for a desk and closet. Beyond the bedroom, they have the bathroom across from a space for a stacking washer dryer. The home is almost split in half with two distinct areas, almost. The front section is the entire living space, including a living room, dining area, kitchen, and entrance. It looks to be a nice layout for one or two people who are after an affordable option. The middle of the pack for their floor plans is a modular that would be delivered in two sections consisting of two bedrooms, one bathroom, and an office, all in x square feet they don't actually have the dimensions of their models listed not sure why but if i had to guess i'd say it falls somewhere in the 800 to 1000 square foot range give or take the way this model is laid out one half of the home is the entire living space with the living room dining room kitchen and entrance the other half has the bedrooms the bathroom and the office i've seen a similar layout pop up a few times lately and i like it the biggest model that's currently on display on the salazar website is a three bedroom two bathroom that gets a bit of a boost in length. What they've done is add the third bedroom on the living room kitchen half of the home and an ensuite with a walk-in closet on the other directly across. A great option for people looking for an affordable option that's big enough for a family, assuming their prices do in fact come in at a level that people consider affordable. But as far as prices go, only time will tell. They're likely still ironing out a few details in the prototype phase and probably will make a few changes before ramping up production. So it could be a while yet before we even get a ballpark of what these will be going for. I I always run the risk of getting peppered in the comments when I show something without pricing, but when I see something brand new, I get excited and want to get the info out as soon as possible. Yes, I understand the price is important, but if I wait until they get it figured out, the info is no longer new and nobody cares. Mass Casitas is a new affordable housing option setting up shop in Terminal 2 of the Portland Port. They've designed a line of modular homes they plan to build with mass timber and are currently working on six prototypes to iron out their process and see if any changes have to be made. There is a definite need for more affordable options, so anytime a new one is announced, it tends to turn a few heads, especially on the West Coast. I am very interested to see the finished homes and find out how much they're gonna cost, so I'll be following along with what they're up to and posting updates right here on my YouTube channel. That's all I've got for today. If you like manufactured home videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel because I've got new ones coming out every single week. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.